Hi guys, my name is Chris Grinton, owner of Flying Brick Motorcycle Accessories, located here in Cape Town, South Africa. The developers of the all-new Takana soft luggage plate have asked me to do a short fitment video on how the Takana luggage plate fits to motorcycles that come pre-equipped with pannier racks. The Takana soft luggage rack plate comes supplied with all the necessary hardware and soft mounting straps to mount the product to pannier racks and we'll just cut away now and show you uh, three or four popular pannier racks that the plate is designed to fit. The Takana luggage plate system is designed to fit a very wide variety of uh, pannier racks such as shown here is the older oil-cooled 1200 GSA BMW rack, a, a range of racks made in Cape Town, South Africa by a company called Rockfox. We have the SW Motec Evo rack and the SW Motec Evo Pro. The plate will fit all of these racks and more. Important tip when fitting the brackets to the Turkana plate. The brackets are supplied with a one mil thick and a 1.5 mil thick adhesive backed rubber spacer. If you are not getting a tight fit onto the uh, tubing of the pannier rack, you simply peel off the adhesive uh, backing, push either the one mil or the 1.5 mil spacer, rubber spacer in there and that will achieve a snug fit. When fitting the brackets to pannier racks having a smaller diameter tubing, usually 16 millimeter, these spaces, which are hard spaces, are designed to fit into there to create a snug fit on the smaller diameter 16 mil pannier rack. To attach the Takana soft luggage plate to a motorbike, we recommend the following procedure. Simply take your bracket, one of the brackets, insert a nut into the captive space for the nut, introduce the bracket to the plate, pass the bolt through one of these horizontal slots you can see and attach the bolt uh, using a formal Allen key. You will need a formal Allen key and all you need to do is a couple of turns to let the bolt be captive but let the bracket be loose. What we have now done is we've pre-assembled five of the six brackets into these slots provided very loosely before we introduce the pannier rack to the brackets. Here is the pannier rack just being put loosely in position over the top of the brackets. As we explained, they're particularly loose and each bracket you can simply click, click back into its place uh, just by rotating the bracket and pushing it home. And at this point, the brackets are still loose. They haven't been tightened up. We will shortly tighten the brackets up. There we have five brackets loose with the pannier rack in place. For the purpose of this video, we've done this off the actual motorbike, but the process is identical. Just remembering when attaching it to the motorbike, the plate does have an arrow and the words top, please orientate the plate upwards. The only exceptions to mounting this luggage plate would be the BMW 1200 liquid cooled, the 1250, as well as the BMW 850. They have stepped racks. Brackets are in manufacture to allow ease of fitment on the exhaust side. One final note to discuss is this rack is incredibly strong and has been ribbed to increase the strength of it exponentially. We have pictures of people standing on them. They are very, very strong and fit for purpose. We think altogether a great alternative for attaching soft luggage, to corner soft luggage, to pannier racks easily, effectively, and safely. For the SW Motic Evo pannier rack and the SW Motic Evo Pro, we do not use the provided mounting brackets. Rather, we 
built straight through the holes provided as can be seen here. We recommend locating the first bolt through the lower central hole, this being the top of the uh, pannier rack, and making sure the plate is orientated upwards. Simply mount the first bolt through the, uh, through the hole, and then simply just drop the other bolts into place. Here you see we've got three bolts at the top, and the bottom two will drop in, and then after that we will go into uh, attaching it. When attaching the Turkana luggage plate to the older SW Motic Evo racks, two holes do need to be drilled. Three existing holes work perfectly. The left hand top hole is correctly located. You'll see the plate rotates rather nicely like that. And you can drop in your western bolt and your eastern bolt. So you have your west, your east and your center. And the only thing that needs doing is taking a center punch or a six inch nail and simply marking the two marks where the drilling would go. Remove the plate and simply drill probably a pilot hole and then a six mil hole to take the bolt. So two simple drilled holes will allow you to fit the Tacana plate.